Hey everybody, and welcome to my latest walkthrough. So for this one, I am obviously doing uh, Red Dead Redemption 2. Now, I did a walkthrough for this game back when the game originally came out, uh, in 2018, October 2018, I believe. And uh, I haven't, I've been doing like some of the online stuff as well. I've been putting that up on my channel. But uh, I've been doing, I've been going through a lot of older games that I've done um, without commentary, and obviously doing one now with commentary. And this is definitely had to, <laughs> like there's no choice really. It had to make the list because um, I wanted to play through it again, and I thought I may as well be be productive and do a commentated walkthrough. Uh, right, so I am going to start the new game. I'm going to shut up for a change. And uh, yeah, we're going to enjoy the intro. Um, if you could leave a like and a comment for the episode, and if you haven't done so already, do think about hitting that subscribe button, because every little helps. Now then, let's get started. Uh, I hope this isn't like going to ask me a bunch of stuff. <laughs> it's like, yes, are you sure you want to save? Are you sure you want to start a new game? Oh, wait for it for loading screens. Lo like, I love this game, but the loading screens... Loading screens in this generation of gaming are the bane of my existence. I recently did Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order. I am in the process of uploading those now, um, as I'm recording this. And, uh, yeah, the loading screens for that are just deadly. They just keep... they, they can just go on for ages. Oh, I long for the day that loading screens aren't necessary. It'll be a very far off day, like when I'm 90 probably, but I long for that day. Hmm, that didn't sound, that wasn't so bad actually, that was pretty short, I say, as the loading screen icon appears in the corner. Had to make me Look like an idiot, didn't you, Red Dead? Yeah, it's about to load, and then it's like, nope, loading a bit more. I wonder what it could be. What do they present? <gasps> My God. This is really such a painfully slow build up. Brilliant, but painfully slow. Someplace. Okay, Arthur's out looking. I sent him up ahead. Uh. If we don't stop soon, we'll all be dying. This weather, it's May. I'm just hoping the law got as lost as we did. There. Arthur! Any luck? I found a place where we can get some shelter. Let Davy rest while he. You know. An old man in town. Bandit. It ain't far. Come on. Come on! Yeah!
in here. Miss Gaskell, get that fire lit quick. Miss Jones, bring in whatever blankets we have. Mr. Pearson, see what we've got in terms of food. Davy's dead. There was nothing more you could have done. What are we going to do? We need supplies. Well, first of all, you're going to stay here, and you were going to get yourself warm. Now, I sent John and Mike scouting out ahead. Arthur and I, we're going to ride out, see if we can find one of them. Yes. Just for a short bit. And I don't see what other choice we have. Listen. Listen to me, all of you, for a moment. Now, we've had, well, a bad couple of days. I loved Davy, Jenny, Sean, Mac. They may be okay. We don't know. But we lost some folks. Now, if I could throw myself in the ground, in their stead, I'd do it, gladly. But we are going to ride out, and we are going to find some food. Everybody, we're safe now. There ain't nobody following us through a storm like this one. And by the time they get here, well, we're gonna be, we're gonna be long gone. We've been through worse than this before. Mr. Pierce, Miss Grimshaw, I need you to turn this place into a camp. We may be here for a few days. Now, all of you, all of you, get yourselves warm. Stay strong. Stay with me. We ain't done yet. Come on, Arthur. All right. We've got some work to do. We ain't run into them yet. So they both must have headed down the hill. Sure. Hey, I ain't had time to ask. What really went down back there on that boat? We miss you. That's what happened. Come on. Oh. Hey, you need horses? Oh, yeah. Hey, Mr. Smith, get yourself indoors. You need to rest that hand. I'll live. Get indoors, son. Uh, we need you strong. Okay. I did just see, like, audio director was a guy called Laszlo. Is that, is that, like, that the guy from, like, the GTA, the like GTA 5? Is that like a reference or something? I don't know. Not a reference in this, but like a reference in GTA. So, so yeah, for someone who works at the company. Uh, yeah, curious about that. I'll have to look into it. But yes, what, uh, what we've just embarked on is probably what is the longest introduction sequence for a game I can think of in recent memory, like I've gone through in recent memory, because uh, this goes on for quite a while. Which is, yeah, I suppose it's justified in that, you know, there there's really is just like a ton of stuff to do in this game. So you need a really long uh, tutorial sequence, I guess. But, uh, yeah, it, it kind of just Feels like it's, it drags, you know. No more. We need to get those people warm and fed. At least we don't need to worry about Pinkerton's tailing us in this. Uh, a couple more days, we'll be on the other side. You need to help me pick the others back up. You're the only one I can rely on to stay strong right now. We got a fire and shelter. That's a start. All uh, right. Was it was was it a trap? So, it's a trap. Do you think it was a trap in Blackwater? 
That many men? Oh, they knew we were coming. There was money on that boat, all right. Lots of it. I stashed what we took with all our money in town right before we fled. Hey, I think I see something up the path. You up ahead. Who's there? Micah. Gentlemen, found anything? I think so. Found a little homestead down that way. Okay. Anyone home? Sure. Place is blazing with light and noise. Sounded like a party. Let's go see. Follow me. <clears throat> How's Davy doing? Well, he didn't make it. Nor did little Jenny. That's too bad. Davy was a real fighter. Both of them calendar boys is. Er, <laughs> was. Yeah. And Mac and Sean. We don't know. Quite a business. I can't remember who Mac is now. I remember Sean. But not Mac. Hey, have you seen John, Micah? Didn't see much of anything once this storm came in. He hasn't seen him. He'll be fine. Things always turn out right for that boy. I hope Mac and Sean are still out there somewhere too. Hey, Arthur, let me take the rear. You move up. In front of you. Yeah, okay. You run into anybody else? I I reckon we're the only ones crazy enough to be out in this, Morgan. Yeah, well, don't talk to me about crazy. Oh, so no, glad you're all right. I was worried, Micah. Look. It's all gonna work out, Morgan. We lost a few folks, but that's just how it goes sometimes. Well, I'm glad you're feeling so good about it. Where are all the others? Old mining camp, back up the hill. Ain't much. Shelter. So, this house, you speak to the people there already? No. Like Dutch told us, look, but don't talk to no one. Just following orders, you know me. Right. How much further? Not far. What does that mean? Not far. Uh, thanks. Yeah, that was informative. Thanks, Micah. Oh, it's damn, good to know you were always a dick. Uh, okay. Where are we going? It's always good to ask questions in a walkthrough. Where are we going? What are we okay. doing? Let's keep it down now, gentlemen. It's just up ahead. Snuff and stash those lanterns, boys. Best you two lie I suppose low. where was answered in that? Just up ahead. Okay. What we're doing? Well, Let's head down there. that's still a blank, isn't it? Talk. We don't want to scare these folks. Now, a little thing popped up, like a little notification popped up on my screen. I have no idea if, like, the video recording skips that, like, a bit, uh, for as long as the notification's there for, I don't know. Because I know in, uh, Radio Dutch. Uh, yeah, because I know if, I'm, if I broadcast, it sort of like blocks out the notification. But I'm not sure if I, uh, through recording a video clip on the PS4, um, 
if like it sort of skips that See, you know, the, 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 the second note two, the notification appears for. I'll have to check that out. Go to the shed and press R1 to take. Okay. Hello? Shut up, Billy. Excuse me. Hello? Oh, well, hello, friend. What you want? I am very sorry. To disturb you, uh, my friends and I, well, we got into some trouble up the way, lost in the storm. Ah, gentlemen. We can't help you, mister. I got folks. Arthur. Dying on the Arthur, we got a problem. <laughs> There's a corpse right here. No, I, I just Arthur, need some There's a body of food in the wagon. Ah, uh, here. Gentlemen. Keep your eyes on Dutch. I think you should go now, buddy. Do I shoot or? I missed. Bloody hell. Well, I didn't miss those times. Who's shooting at me and from where? Ah, he was in the outhouse, was he? for the ride back. Uh, looks like the poor bastard was married too. At some point. If we can't eat it or drink it, put it down. Okay, I got some oat cakes. Aren't I living a life of luxury? The life of an outlaw. O'Driscoll's. I don't believe it. It's a strange one, all right. Maybe they're... ...hiding up here, too. There's a big price on Colm O'Driscoll's head. Nearly as big as the one on yours. One Colm dead is about the only thing me and Uncle Sam agree on. Place is dry, warm. We could maybe move the women and Jack down here. Maybe. We'll see how they are when we get back. I don't really want us to split up. Can I go upstairs? I'm going to start packing the horses. You keep looking. Yes. Uh, okay. There we go. I got a revolver. We're a revolver ammo, so that's cool. Go back down and get the salted meat. Beef, sorry. Well, I said meat, so either that or my sights going. My sights Arthur, just fuck. Arthur, keep looking for stuff. Arthur, go see if there's anything in that barn. My Can't do Dutch. Search the cabin. See what we missed. Sure. Ah! Oh, bastard! 
shot my cousin. Well, he started. I'm gonna break your neck. We'll probably find. Hey, that guy looks like my online character. What a coincidence. A weird coincidence, but what a coincidence. Oh my god, this could be where my online character ends. Dies. Nope, never mind, he's got a mustache. I take it back. Similar hairstyle, though. Where's Como Driscoll? With the others. At an old mining camp southwest of here. Near the lake. What are you bastards doing? Why are you up here? Uh, we're fixing to rob some train. Gonna blow the tracks. No, I don't know more than that, I swear. <laughs> Well, I would say it looks like you have this, Arthur. Do what you want with him. I don't care. But bring that horse when you're done. Oh. All right. Well, I'm not heartless. All right, I'm gonna let him go. Get the hell out of here. It's like I'm gonna shoot him in the back or anything. Wow, he run fast. Nope. Never mind. There he is. Okay, and where's my hat? My hat is right there. Different buttons to pick up the hat and the gun. I like it. Uh, it's good, good uh, forethought there. I say that like, yo, it's going to be a big part of the game. It's not. I'm not going to be picking up my hat that much. Or my guns, I hope. Because they will stay on my person at all times. Yeah, good boy. Unlike GTA, I'm not really looking to get into many fist fights in this game. Okay, uh, continuing to bond. Okay, cool. I started reading that, and then I kind of lost interest.
everybody, Dutch is back. How'd you get on? Uh, Mike had found a homestead, but he weren't the first. Cole O'Driscoll and his scum, they beat us to it. Uh, uh, we found some of them there, but there is more about, apparently. Scouting the train. Thank you. That's the last thing we need right now, Dutch. Well, it is what it is. But we found some supplies, some blankets, a little bit of food. And this poor soul, Mrs. Adler, Miss Tilly, Miss Karen, would you warm her up? Give her a drink or something? And Mrs. Adler, it's gonna be okay. You're safe now. They turned her into a widow. Animals. I need some rest. I haven't slept in three days. You're over here. Miss O'Shea will show you the way. Mr. Morgan, we put you in a room over here. Thank you, Miss Grimshaw. Mr. Bell, you're with the fellas over there. What? How come Arthur gets a room and I get a bunk bed next to Bill Williamson and a bunch of darkies? Get yourself to bed. Okay, yeah, the autosave is not that... Yeah, 12.5%. I'm not going to really miss that, am I? Yeah, overwrite. Oh my god, that's bright. He ain't been seen in days. Weather ain't let up. He's strong. And he's smart. Strong, at least. Hello, Arthur. Abigail. Arthur, how you doing? Just fine, Abigail. And you? I need you to... I'm sorry, I'm sorry to ask, but... It's little John. He's got himself caught into a scrape again. He ain't been seen in two... Two days. Your John will be fine. I mean... He may be as dumb as rocks and as dull as rusted iron, but that ain't changing because he got caught in some snowstorm. Please go take a look. Javier? Yes. Javier, will you ride out with Arthur <clears throat> to take a look for John? <clears throat> You're the two best fit men we've got. Now? She's... We're all... Yeah, we're pretty worried about him. I know. The situation were reversed. Look for me. Thank you. This way. Last I know, John was headed up the river. For all we know, he kept riding north and never looked back. He wouldn't leave. Not like that. Uh, wouldn't be the first time. Driscoll's boys. Well, seems somebody left recently. And that way. Sure, well, come on then. There's some tracks leading to the river. Arriba! Whoa! Okay, uh, I'm going to call this episode to an end here because it's getting pretty late and I only really wanted to get through the like opening sections, the credits and uh, yeah, <laughs> that's pretty much it, the opening credits I guess um, so yeah, I hope you've enjoyed the episode so far I know I haven't done too much and I still got a lot of this opening sequence to get through but when I do, the game and the game itself and this walkthrough will get a lot better I feel for now though, that's pretty much it, so I hope you've enjoyed, and until the next episode, you look after yourself and you have a great day. Ta-da!